Right, so this is a harvest moon, super moon, full moon for Aquarius. Um, this is going to happen September 18th at 10.34 p.m. in Pisces. There's also going to be a lunar eclipse in Pisces, too. So let's see what aspects it'll have. Have gratitude, balance, harvest, sharing, deeper understanding, and thinking. Alrighty. All right, we have Soldier. Um, he will love you and leave you. He's a playboy person of authority. And then we have um, Five of Swords with Deception and Conflict. And then we have Joyfulness with um, Having a Good Time, Creativity, Feelings of Pleasure from Entertainment, um, Well-Being, Attending a Function, uh, where there is much joy and laughter, harmony amongst friends and loved ones. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is emotional satisfaction wrapped up in each other. So, let's see what's going on. Alright, we have Reactivity Pattern. We have Fear of Rising Up from Healing. So we have the end of arguments, so you could be in a relationship and you've been arguing a lot and then around this time you kind of stop because it's fall and fall is a good time for harvest, um, whatever the case may be. Okay, we have the sun and self-expression, which is success, you could be successful around this time. Then we have the moon. Uh, Emotions most closely connected to this illumination. We have sex. Um, you can be having a lot of it. Mm. Isn't that something? Okay, how to react, how your reactivity has been blocking your self expression. We have self understanding and love. Uh, so you know that you're. Either you're overly smothering or you're under smothering somebody. So it's, you have to make it even dive, I guess, into that emotion, I guess. Okay, what's releasing this block will help you achieve? Ability to grow on your own. Um, I believe that you might need that. Like, you just need a release in order to grow. Uh, that's... That's an interesting way to put it. Anyway, so <laughs> you're going to need a release in order to grow. And then to achieve things, you will have to constantly have that same cycle go for a while. And then you'll achieve more, depending on how much you can do that without overstepping boundaries or your partnership getting pissed off anyway that's entirely up to you okay but anyway like I said before it's it's a little bit of a hit or miss but you need success sex and the ability to grow a lot of innuendo anyway so This is going to be a great harvest season for you. Um, I feel like you might be expecting a child in nine months after this harvest moon that makes you crazy. Um, but it's all for a good reason. This child's going to be born in May, by the way. Uh, it's going to be a terrorist. Anyway, so, anyway. Hopefully, if everything goes right. You'll wait until the Halloween moon to have a child that's going to be ca uh, cancer. And then that child will have this weird, I like to say emotional connection to you, which is kind of fun. 
and will tell you the truth a lot because cancers and aquarians have like this kinship of telling each other the truth most of the time so i would wait until october to be crazy but if you want to be crazy now wear protection or have protection on hand whatever and have fun but in all honesty you should have a cancer child because it would be too honest with you and it would be a lot of fun to have a cancer with a with a parental that's an aquarium i've seen that dynamic happen and it's like the funniest and cutest thing i've ever seen i i think you need that you just need like this you know type of bond with your child if you if you really want to have one anyway i will see you in the next reading enjoy the super moon and the lunar moon and um the harvest moon while it lasts and also the lunar eclipse while it lasts this is like fucking world collapsing events here anyway i will see you later take care of yourselves all right later